Hello folks, this seahorse is located underwater. Go to this teleporter and then head west until you see a cavern. Just follow the cavern until you reach the end, which will lead you to the teleporter for the boss itself. This boss has low health and you can get two achievements in a single run. Since this is a lightning seahorse, it is resistant to electro. And when the pearl is up, it only takes one third of the normal damage. To break the pearl, use elemental reactions. The best ones are cryo, pyro, and dendro. And some attacks leave electric puddles on the ground, which can be annoying since you're gonna take damage. A unique phase from this boss is once the pearl gets low, it will leap in the air and float there and summon three orbs. If you destroy all three orbs, the pearl will also be destroyed. During this time, it also summons lightning, so watch out for that. But this transition is also tied to an achievement. If you destroy the pearl directly instead of the three orbs, you get the achievement. So for this achievement, you're going to need to bring a cryo, pyro, or dendro archer. The second achievement is pretty easy. You just need to defeat the boss while it's trying to restore the pearl. Just attack it until it's almost dead, then wait for the animation. The animation is very long, so you have plenty of time to get the kill. Okay, now on to the rest of the attacks. First off, tail attack. It can attack you once, twice, or thrice. The animation for each one is different. And it can also do this attack without the pearl. Just dash to avoid it. Fish missiles. It summons a bunch of lightning fishes that homes in on you. You're gonna need to dash twice to avoid it or use your ultimate. The damage of each fish is pretty low, so don't worry about getting perfect dashes. The fast charge is the most dangerous attack. It reels back and quickly lunges forward. This is very hard to dodge and I get hit by it pretty much every time. Here are three times that I try to dash through it, and I got hit all three times. This charge probably has a bunch of active frames. Jump attack. The boss leaps in the air, then slams down with a big AoE circle. The circle does two explosions, so wait for the second one before going back in. It does pretty high damage, but it is easy to avoid. Eruption. The boss will summon a circle that follows you, then an eruption from below will happen. You can either walk or run out of it, or wait until the ground changes a little, then dash out. And the last attack is when it regenerates its pearl. This is still an attack cause it does damage at the end. It curls up, restores the pearl, then does a small explosion. If you cannot kill the boss in time, then just walk away until the explosion's over, then go back in. And here's a bonus tip for the fight when the boss doesn't have the pearl. For some reason, if you stay far away, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do its tail attack or charge, the AI is broken or something. This might get fixed later, but use it for now and just get some free damage. And like always, I'll show a fast kill video, but this time I'm going to show two. There are two methods to fight this boss. One is to bring a team that does a lot of reactions so you can quickly destroy the pearl and then the boss after. But since this boss have pretty low health, the other method is to just bring a strong enough team and unga bunga facial your way through. Just don't bring that many electro units since it is resistant to electro. Thanks for watching, hope this guide helps, and as always, have fun out there traveler. Stabilize. Ha -ha. Teamwork is dream. Rain out.
lines your face. Huh? Oh, witness goes to shut down! Feel the slip! Let me leave you a Time for a light show! 